Hello everyone, this is Ross here from Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're having a look at Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. This is developed and published by Dovetail Games. It's available to download now on the Xbox Store, priced at £14.99, that's $18.49. Right, so on the main menu of Dovetail Games Euro Fishing, um, this is more of a simulation style fishing game rather than the likes of Sega Bass Fishing which is more of an arcade style, so it's a lot slower paced. Um, more about getting your setups right and all that sort of business. So anyway, let's take a look at what we've got on the main menu and then we'll have a quick go of playing it and uh, show you what it's all about. Right then, so this first tab is the home tab. Um, gives you the four sort of main aspects of the game. So you've got the academy, which is the tutorial. Freedom fishing, is which is what we're going to be doing today. Um, you can walk about whatever lake you want and fish where you want and all that sort of business. You've got live tournaments, which is online tournaments, and you've got a certain amount of time to be the one to catch the most fish, get the most points. Uh, multiplayer session, you can go in and just fish with your friends or other people, and again, you can set up your uh, settings to do what you want. So you can have a freedom fishing se session online with your friends if you want to, make it unlimited time, and yeah, fish away for hours. Um, game modes, again, quickly covers what you can do. So you've got your single player, your multiplayer, and your academy. Uh, so in single player, you got tournaments, challenges, and um, freedom fishing. Um, challenges are, as you can see on the little pitch there, bottom left. And you've got to set set rings on the pond, and you've got to cast your rod into that, uh, be, um, score as many points as you can before the time runs out. Uh, tournaments again is the same as the online tournaments. So obviously, it's just on your own against AI. Uh, your profile here, so you got your anglers log. And again, you can look in here at the species of fish you've caught and how many. Um, so, yeah, we can see there we've caught 20, 20 roach, 19 bream, 14 tench, 8 common carp, 7 mirror carp. There's leather carp, catfish. Uh, I do believe there's more knock as you progress through when you sort of catch these fish or see them in that. There's also boss fish as well. So these are, I suppose, if you like, the special fish of each lake. Um, and again, not caught them, not seen them, so they're not showing up there. Um, this profile is you can create characters for yourself, you can name them, um, and these are all your stats. The, um, again, so you can see a species that you've caught, and you've got your personal best weights. So, the biggest fish I've caught is a carp at 13 pounds 4 ounces. Um, so that's that. You've got your tackle box as well, and again, this is you can set these up and save save these as options as well. So I've got a tackle box one there, which is that one. As you can see, we've got braided hair rigs and sweet corn and blood worms and stuff in there. Um, what else happens during the game as well while you play? You score points and you level up your character as well, um, which you can spend in the tackle shop, and this works right from the center outwards. And you've got four corners if you like if you look at the main screen to the right there you've got your course match carp and stalking in the four corners there so going off in those corners like so as you can see there's more rods and stuff to purchase as you go through but you have to sort of go through like a tree so you've got to buy that one uh, there that that reel to unlock the quarter sweet corn and a quarter DF rig 10 and um, once you buy one of those these next ones will unlock and so on um, so that's how that works uh, your settings as well like the main setting in here um, will be in the game settings and that is the casting method and um, there's two methods of casting you've got the total cast control which is really really difficult to master um, and you've got your basic cast and control we'll take a look at both of them today um, and to show you the difference between them um, but it's ideal if you're new to these sorts of games um, or just struggle a little bit like I do to stick it on basic cast control to start with and um, get used to the game and then maybe move up if you want to to the uh, total cast control anyway we're going to jump into a free freedom fishing session showing you the total cast control first and then we'll switch over to the basic cast control Right, so we're in the freedom fishing menu now, and you, this is where we choose what lake we want to fish at. We've got five to choose from. Um, my personal favourite so far is St John's Lake, so that's where we're going. And again here, you get to set up your session settings and what time of day you want it to be, the day length, 
simulation speed of the daytime um, conditions random clear skies all that sort of business the wind as well and what tackle box you're using so that's that um, so yeah without any further ado let's go right so once the game's loaded um, you then presented with this screen where you can choose where you want to spawn on the map um, represented by the big icons the small icons are where you can pitch up um, to fish from but you can also free fish as well off the side of the bank anywhere you want to so again it's a, a nice little choice there um, so we're going to spawn there anyway and now here we are so this is it so you can freely free to walk around where you want um, that's a peg you can claim there and again all the available options come up at the bottom right of the screen tell you what you can do um, I'm going to show you from the side here can I get to the side of the bank and there we go so I'm not going to claim the peg I'm just going to cast All right, and to cast in total control mode you have to press and hold the left trigger and then using the right stick draw your rod back and this is all about timing this next bit you have to push forward on the right stick and then let go of the left trigger at the right time to get the optimum cast like so if you get it wrong I've done it already myself loads of times um, I, I, I had the hook stay behind me <laughs> I suppose it hasn't hooked onto the back of my shoes and flipped myself over <laughs> um, so that, that's the uh, basic cast anyway you can manually reel it in by pressing the left trigger um, or if you fancy just resetting the rod because you've cast it wrong or whatever you just press the right bumper it resets the rod um, there's two different types of cast so the one that we just did was overhead you can click the left stick in and it'll switch to an underarm cast and again you perform it the same way um, and now I did it completely wrong there because we just dropped it straight into the water um, again it's difficult um, to get the timing correct on this if you're not used to it there that's a bit better so there we go now as you've probably seen there's a little icon once you've cast into the lake there's a few different icons that show up um, and they're to do with what surface you're on in the water so that one there denotes that we're on silt um, so it's ideal to know what beds you've got underneath the lake and use what tackle you've got accordingly so if we just bring it in again we know we're on silt there so you can press the Y button before you cast and choose what rig you want and it, it's all there so the one that we've got selected is uh, a bed type of uh, silt so that's what we're going to use um, bait we've got white bread flakes a blood worm and uh, sweet corn so I'm going to stick the blood worm on because that's worked best for me so far and just press Y to close again and cast away um, that was completely wrong again <laughs> that's a bit better um, it's ideal as well to look about you can see the fish right feeding on the bottom you see bubbles come up and if you look at the top of the screen you can see some um, you can also see fish jump out from time to time as well so it's ideal to keep an eye out where they are um, you can hear them splashing about there as well somewhere so we could sit here forever holding the rod if we wanted to but what we can do is pull it in we we'll just shift over to the right. We, now, we can now press the E button to claim the peg. And what that does, it gives us a nice little setup, and we've actually got three rods on the go as well. So you can get three rods out as well. You, know, you don't have to have all three out. You can uh, just have the one if you want to. We've got the three rods that you can use. Um, let's just give it a just there. And you can put the rod down if you want to and you can wander about and you have uh, line alarms as well so when you get a bite um, the alarms will sound on the rods um, so yeah you need to be aware of which one it is and by doing so you press left on the d-pad as you can see bottom right rod selection um, and that's how you choose which ones you want to use now if you look at each rod there's a little grey circle to the bottom right corner um, when the alarm's going off that will flash blue to corresponding which one it is that's uh, going off so you know which one to grab and then this far right thing is your bait shack um, and this you use to bait up where you're fishing 
So, I'm in the wrong place there. Let's just pull that back in. So shift over a little bit. There we go. See where we're going now. Um, <laughs> don't know where that went. Let's just try and drag it over. That's just plop it there. You'll see it as it rises to the surface. You can just see at the bottom of the screen. You can see the sort of orangey coloured smoke, if you like. That's the uh, bait coming out of the bottom of it, feeding the uh, the water there, so it should attract fish. I'll probably not catch anything seeing as I'm recording as well. You watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can just pull that back in. As you can see, it's there. Look. Um, let's choose another rod. Let's get rod two out. And again, obviously, you have to set up each rod for what bait you want to use and what hooks, etc. Um, let's have this one just here somewhere. There we go. Dude needs a shave. <laughs> Oh, saw a fish over there then jump out. Let's try then. As soon as there's some activity over there. I'll grab this rod. I will switch it to a uh, overhead cast. <laughs> I did it wrong again. <laughs> Didn't that go in time? <laughs> oh, we've got a bite there. Let's put that down quick. You see the alarm's going off. Oh, the line snapped. <laughs> oh, I know. Alright, we're best off uh, bringing that one back. Now, that might have been... Oh, it's because it went into the weeds. Look, as you can see, we've got the weed symbol. So it got tangled up in the weeds and snapped the line. Um, but see, we, we are still using the starter rods and that as well. So the line's not as, as good a quality strength as the line you can get. Um, so don't be expecting to catch the biggest fish in the world when you first start playing. What I'm doing here, I'm just dangling that in the water. Let's uh, let's cast it out again. Put that down. Now we were before that fish decided to take a bite and then snap the line. We we're casting rod three right out over there. go all right uh, overhead cast let's try our best to get it right over there let it settle down I'll do oh we've got number two's going let's grab it quick all right so it'll be a small one this and again you use the right stick to maneuver the rod and manipulate the fish as you can see I'm just moving to the right there with the rod now when you reel it in as well you've got the bottom left there the screen you can see the tension of the wire going up oh we've got two fish on now uh oh um, so yeah you can continually reel in with the left trigger and try your best to get the fish in quickly come on Oh, fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. This is the most action I've had since playing it. <laughs> Come on. Let's get his. No, he's going to lose him. Come on. Now, you know when the fish is tired, that little fish on the hook symbol that's on the end of the line there will turn blue. Let you know you can just pull him in and land him like so let's quickly get it in and you press the a button to uh, to catch the little bugger let's hope we don't snap that line that one that's going there we've got a nice bream there let's quickly skip him so that's 12 pounds nine that's not bad that right and then quickly grab rod one let's see what we've got here Let's get him reeled in. 
There we go. Uh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is that going to do that? Don't snap the line. Oh, I got tangled up somewhere. <laughs> so we've lost another one. <laughs> okay, let's reel that in. Well, at least we've caught one. Um, I see some activity right in front of us, just there, look. So let's try doing a small cast out to there. Close enough. Put the rod down. They've cast number three right out there and there's no more fish activity, that's about right. Um, what do we want now? Rod two, because that's just sat there. And let's cast this one just here somewhere. Oh, one's going again. Quickly. Let's land another one before before we show you the, uh, the alternate controls. Be a small one, this gotta be. Come on, no, you're not going in those weeds. Come on. Yeah, you just have to keep your eye on that tension rod there, or tension bar, should I say, on the left. Just make sure it doesn't snap like what happened earlier. And then we've got another fish on rod two. And he's taken off. <laughs> Let's try and get this one reeled in. Come on. No, don't go over there. Come on. Ah, oh, it's tired now. Let's get him in quick. Catch. Oh, a nice mirror. Mirror carp. Again. Hit yeah, mirror carp, 12 pound 8. Alright, let's chuck him back. And quickly get on to rod 2. Oh, little nibble on one of the other lines there, I heard that. Come on. Let's turn the tension up a bit. But yeah, you can alter the tension of the line again. Um, I was trying to say earlier on before we all went a bit mental. Using the up, up and down on the D-pad and you can control that as you're reeling as well. Um, and you'll get used to you know, what sort of fish you've got on the end of your line over time. Oh, quickly, let's drop that down. No, we went in the weeds again. You cheeky little. <laughs> right. Let's just pull that in. Well, what I'm going to do now then, while we've got no fish about, uh, I'm going to quickly switch over to the control system and show you that. Uh, so I'll see you in a second. Right then, so we're back again now. Um, just loaded back up again, back in the same spot where we were earlier. Um, so I've switched over to the basic control system and the way this works is you just tap the left trigger and you present it with a small power bar on the bottom of the screen and it's a case of pressing and holding the right trigger and then letting go at the time you want it to cast out on the power bar there so again it works like this press and hold it if you go over as you see there we've gone into the little red exclamation mark you get a bit of a duff cast um, that's all you've got to contend with when working like this with the uh, basic controls so it's a lot easier to get to grips with the game using this like I said earlier on if you're not really used to it so again that's that and the same works for um, when you're doing an overhead cast as well so again just clicking the left stick 
power and let go with the right trigger. Very simple. Um, and works like so. Um, so yeah, that's that. And again, you can practice um, you doing this fishing. You can go and do the tutorials. There's a lot more to learn than what I've told, said today. I'm still learning the game myself. Um, but yeah, this has been Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. Um, and I hope this video has helped you understand the game and may help you make a decision whether you want to get it or not. And if it has, please do let us know in the comments below. Stick a like on it as well if you enjoyed it. And um, please subscribe if you've not already done so. It does mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.